much. We know that the airports have been getting hit hard by the past couple of days. Strong and severe storms. Well, tomorrow we could see a little bit more of that. A yellow alert in effect for your Monday, especially for midday and the evening hours. We're looking out for severe thunderstorms that could bring damaging wind, hail, flash flooding, and even an isolated tornado is possible. Tonight, things are okay for now. We're looking warm and muggy at the moment, looking live outside. Beautiful night. It is 72 degrees. What we have out on Long Island is a dense fog advisory. Visibility is already dropping there. This dense fog advisory in play until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Visibility in Yapank already down to a third of a mile. We see Sparta, too, developing some patchy fog. Across the region, patchy fog will develop. But again, that dense fog advisory out on the island. Temperatures, 68 in Edison right now. 69 in Babylon, 72 in Poughkeepsie, and overhead. While skies are mainly clear for many of us, we have to keep our sights on what's active on the radar. And down toward Philly, we see a cluster of showers and likely an embedded thunderstorm starting to develop. This will lift up and through the region through the wee hours of the morning. So it won't be completely quiet overnight, but certainly quiet in comparison to what we anticipate tomorrow, especially late in the day. As we loop the radar and you watch over Indiana, how the these storm reports just explode as we roll through the afternoon. It's this line here that pushes through the region tomorrow locally that could also spark more severe storms for us. Now, with the severe storms possible, really in waves through the day, but the most likely hours six through midnight, we're looking at highs in the 80s. 82 for the city tomorrow will push toward 90 in Trenton. Cooler east the city, mid 70s out there. Again, pretty active day on the radar, but maybe some plans to hit the beach. So check out your beach forecast tomorrow. Moderate risk of rip currents. Your lightning risk is high. Those temperatures along the coastline, mid to upper 70s. Wave heights at two to three feet and ocean temperatures, 63 to 70. Now, I mentioned tomorrow, it is a yellow alert day. We're anticipating a very active weather day with strong, even severe storms. It's an 80% chance that you'll deal with a shower storm, severe storm, or all three tomorrow. Tuesday, another high likelihood of active weather. Wednesday as well, a little bit quieter Thursday and Friday. If there are any days in the work week that we anticipate you staying dry, Thursday and Friday look like our best bets. Let's show you again what we anticipate for tomorrow. 1030 in the morning. This is our midday round. Yellow alert in effect of the midday hours for strong, even severe storms. Now here we are, 6 o'clock. We start to see the strongest activity pushing into the region, and that trend continues through roughly midnight. Tuesday, as we go through the day, showers and storms pop in the afternoon, but it looks like the strong stuff is again closer to sunset. And then Wednesday starts quiet, but we'll see a repeat of activity drumming up through the day. Your extended forecast now, temperatures don't move around much. Neither does the humidity until late work week. We'll see a dip Thursday into Friday, and you see those storms pop in every single day. It's going to be a busy week, but tomorrow we expect to be the most volatile day across the region. Jess, back to you. All right. Thanks, Vanessa.